it going guys welcome back to another RC in motion video and today we have the Traxxas Aton I know you guys already saw a, a video of this but today we're gonna cover a couple of other features like the auto takeoff and the app we're gonna take a look at the app I know last time uh, you guys didn't see the app in function but here we have everything set up everything's ready to go so let's power up the app and I'm going to give you guys a quick um, screenshot here but if you don't know where the uh, Bluetooth button is on your app I mean on your drone it's right underneath right here on the front of the nose and it's indicated by a blue light so let me give you guys a screenshot of this so you guys can see it and as you can see on the main uh, screen here we have pretty much uh, the battery level and you can see it seems like it's draining a little bit that green line above is the battery level and then here you have on top all your positions just like on the drone you also have on your dashboard if we open up the dashboard um, you can see your latitude your altitude climb rate and ground speed and all that you'll see change as we go up in the sky if we go into control and settings here you have on film mode you can set your max speed and we have it set at about 13 miles an hour and then your max rudder rate we have it set about 28 percent now our sport sports mode angle we have the max tilt and angle at 45 and the max rudder rate is set at 61 we keep going down the expert mode uh, the max rotation you can set it as well but I don't have it set at too high um, so I might have to reset that we're just gonna put it at the default it says tap for default and default is 85 max rudder as well default is 70 so here on the limits section you can see where you can set your geofence radius and you can set it all the way up to a thousand feet or you can just set it to 50 feet if you're a beginner if you tap the default default is 500 feet and I think that's enough for us but I usually put it up at 650 your ceiling altitude that's your limit um, if you want no limit for your ceiling altitude you can go ahead and do that uh, my ceiling altitude says it's 400 and and that's that's fine this geofence radius means you can fly up to 650 feet out if you click the no limit just keep in mind that it'll bring you back in case it loses um, uh, reception so on that geofence you can set the no limit and you can go farther than a thousand feet but remember that battery is going to decrease and um, it, your drone is just going to come back so return to home feature here um, uh, the uh, ceiling for the return to home is about 45 feet so at 45 feet that drone will fly so keep in mind if you have any trees and that uh, that that 45 feet is pretty much at the altitude is going to return to home you can always set it up to 150 if you'd like and then it'll start descending from there on the calibrate we can calibrate the level um, if you're on an uneven surface and the lights as well we can turn them off to save some battery so during the day I usually just turn it off and um, here on your connections it'll show that you're connected and that's pretty much it okay so you guys already saw the um, the dashboard on the app and I've already set all my settings and um, I just keep it that way because right now this is all land and I just want to keep the drone close to where I can see it so now I'm gonna show you the takeoff feature and I'm just going to move away from the drone for a little bit so you can just uh, see the drone and then follow along and um, what I'm going to do here is on the transmitter you can see here on the transmitter um, there's a light blinking this is going to start your um, this is going to start your props so in order to activate this um, automatic takeoff we're just going to lift up the throttle to halfway click on that And there you go that's the auto takeoff right there so depending on the amount of throttle you give this drone it'll um, it'll take off to that height so I'm also going to show you a little bit about the um, uh, 
a little bit about the GPS hold. So as you can see, right now it's on film mode, which already has a GPS hold. So if I actually just move it, it's gonna try to hold that position. You can see it coming back. It's coming back towards me. I'm gonna push it again, and there it goes. That GPS hold is always gonna maintain, uh, is always gonna keep that, um, that position there. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit, trying to push it away. And it's gonna come back to that position right there. So let's go ahead and land it. It's a little windy. And that right there in a nutshell is your auto takeoff. We're gonna leave it in fast mode. Um, we're switching it now to fast mode. Um, once you return it to home all the time, it's going to switch it back to fill mode. So keep that in mind when you're um, uh, when you're flying around. So we have about uh, half a battery, exactly half a battery. So I'm going to turn on the GoPro. And we are going to film in fast mode. So um, we're going to do this auto. We can't do the auto takeoff. So we're going to turn on the, uh, the props here. And it's already set to that home position in case uh, we run out of battery. And uh, let's go. Let's give it a whirl. And you can already see in fast mode, the tilt angle is a little bit, is actually more. And we're just going to fly around here and um, pretty much try and see. Hopefully I can, uh, I can see where the drone is pointing. There it goes, here we go. We're coming back this way. And it's, it's really high right now. I really cannot see the direction that I'm in. But it looks like I'm coming the right way. So here we go. Yeah, we're going to fly over here over the house. And we're just going to do a nice little flyby here. And it looks like I was pointing the right way. We're gonna go circle around again. We're gonna come in through the back, uh, the backyard here. Get a nice little shot of the house here. And um, with fast mode, everything is increased. Um, the, uh, the the accelerometers, um, pretty much your stick movements will be increased. So any type of jerky motion that you give the drone. Um, you will see that in your video, so keep that in mind as well when uh, filming in fast mode. So we're going to go out quite a bit. And then we're going to come around here. And we're just going to come back over here, same direction. And we're just going to fly out uh, through the top of us right now. And let's go, let's go out through the, to the other side. Okay, we might be running out of battery here, so we're going to bring it back over here and we're going to set it down home. getting attacked by a bee here. We're going to try to find that home position and we are going to land. What are you filming? So there you have it guys, you guys saw the uh, fast mode filming on it. So this would be a mode that you would um, use when filming either a moving vehicle 
or um, something fast paced that you want to keep track of because with film mode you don't have that tilt angle and you do not have the speed so with fast mode remember filming in fast mode your um, your rates are increased slightly a little and you want to take that in consideration when you're moving your sticks so we're going to put in a new battery and we're going to show you a quick little shot of fast mode uh, inside a vehicle so I'll be inside a vehicle on a closed course we live out in the country so there's no poles lights um, wires or traffic at all it's all open field so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a nice little footage of that so um, hope you guys enjoy the footage and as always thank you guys uh, for supporting the channel I really appreciate it remember to like comment and subscribe and enjoy the footage Thank you.